Okay. It is. I'm not And that's why I said what I said at the beginning of my other vlog. I need some safe to do. Cause, cause playing with me is not safe. Excuse me. Bless me. Truly, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new, and hey to my babies if you are true. Y'all, welcome to um, the weekend vlog. Okay, it's gonna be a weekend vlog. I hope y'all like the vlog that I put out on Friday. I had a lot of fun on that Thursday. Um, I had a lot of fun. That was a good day. Yesterday was a great day. But anyways, it's Friday and me and B are in the car because we have to go feed EXO with the food that she bought him yesterday and they canceled school today because of severe weather. So right now I think the winds are like blowing like 30 miles per hour and they supposed to get up to like 55 miles per hour. So like the wires and the lights and shit, everything is like blowing crazy. And we couldn't even get on the highway because Brittany don't drive in storms when she don't drive when it's raining and she she don't want to scare the shit out of me. That's what the fuck it is. That's, 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 that's just that on that. But um, I'm pretty sure we're going to get some breakfast. Um, right now it's still on Waffle House, but it might change. I don't know. And... And then I gotta go in the house and I gotta edit. I told y'all I had a lot of work to do this weekend. Um, as far as like rebranding my business, not rebranding, but just kinda like getting back consistent with my businesses. Cause I'm not rebranding. My brand speaks for itself, okay? My brand is lit the way it is, but um, I'm gonna be creating some content and stuff, so. I mean, I guess this is like a perfect day. I just gotta try not to get, y'all know I love the rain. Rainy days are my type of vibe, okay? Now this is gonna be a storm. This gonna be a stormy day. So we just gonna see if I can um, keep pushing through this day and not wanna just lay down and relax and watch TV because that's my type of vibe. That's my type of vibe. But um, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to start off the vlog. Welcome, y'all. And, um, I'm gonna get this day started. First of all, I don't got nobody's lip gloss. Lips look dry as hell. I can say I really love that moisturizer I've been using, though. That La Roche Pose. Girl, I love that moisturizer. It feels so good. And then I just put me some sunscreen on top of my black girl sunscreen. And we're good to go, okay? So I'm gonna put some lip gloss on because she looking kind of dry right now. And then I'll check in once we get to the bee house and feed the animals. Look what fell off the door when we was walking into the bee house. And then my house got good luck. Ooh, somebody think it's some money. <laughs> y'all, we didn't got in the well, freaking. Look, like I told you, this way you be doing. Oh, hold on, let me show y'all extra. <laughs> he be up on that thing. <laughs> He getting big. Yeah, look at me. Then they go big. You getting big, Exo? Is that big ass poop? I just cleaned it out when I moved it. Baby, he got shit all over here. That's new. I just cleaned it up when I put him on there, baby. <laughs> look at him looking at me. Hey. Look behind you. What? Look behind you. Hey George. Y'all they trying to warm up a little bit. <laughs> a little bit, girl. A little bit. Cause he wouldn't even did all that. He came over there by me. 
I'll play with you in a minute, XO. But anyways, y'all, it's, it's about to storm. I like your new setup. You like that? Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to let y'all know that we was here. Um, hell, I might chill over here this weekend. Should. Maybe. Surviving. Okay, I'll check in in a minute, y'all. Okay, first of all, y'all, I feel bad that I ever thought he was dead on me. What? Look at him. He can't go. Okay, here, give him a worm. He finna eat. He be in those positions. Okay, y'all. It take them a minute to eat out of your hand, y'all. But I think he finna eat this thing. He thinking about it. Then we got George over there stalking. There you go. He finna get it. Mm-hmm. That's yours. That ain't no finger. What up to my dolls? I am Lee Wantalia, also known as Lee Wash Julie. And welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. And hey to my babies if you are true. Y'all, welcome to another um vlog. <sighs> so let me just put this little shit out there. Okay, because I didn't do anything that I said I was gonna do yesterday. Yesterday was a pretty crappy day, and you bet I say a word because you was responsible for my day yesterday. After I had such an amazing day, Thursday, I ain't gonna say yesterday was a crappy day because it was a good day. All I did was rest and relax. Uh, wait. I ain't have to start this vlog over because yesterday y'all seen me over there with EXO feeding him this, this, and this. But when I came back home, y'all, that thursday night the cage i left ice out sometimes i leave ice out sometimes he has to sit in his bed so we trying to gain this trust back do y'all not know that this man tinkle in probably like four or five areas in my house so right now this damn house smells like a dog kennel i am in my head right now probably about to put take this rug roll this rug up and put it outside by the damn dumpster because I'm just over it. Remember, I was supposed to get a new rug anyway. I was going to get a new one for Christmas. But somebody made a, a good comment. And they was like, you might as well wait till after Christmas and start off the new year with a new rug. So, I'm going to do... I, 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 I said that was a good idea. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do that. So, um, today was actually supposed to be like intense work day for me but now i gotta start from the basics of cleaning this house because he pissed me off and that just made me uh relax yesterday so yesterday um i ended up getting some maple street for breakfast and that shit pissed me off so i had those jelly sausage things that i like um and i like biscuit and gravy and i like the fried potatoes or whatever the fried potatoes was hard as and y'all know, I don't play by my fried potatoes. They were so hard. They forgot my biscuit. So I had to have half a bee biscuit. It was just a mess, okay? And it, their place is too expensive to be messing up people's food like that. So that kept me full most of the day. Ended up watching a really good movie. And I've been watching um, Fool Me Once on Netflix. That's really good, y'all. Tap into that, for real. And um, what else? So, mmm. Excuse me. Yesterday, somebody was playing on my phone. So, that pissed me off because I feel like I know who was playing on my phone. But we just gone, we just <laughs> come from fucking nation. The little laughing sound. That's what somebody did to my phone. They caught my phone, laughed, playing on my phone. So, okay. Confirmation. Do y'all hear that? Y'all, that's confirmation. Do you hear me? I know what I be talking about, but... That's neither here nor there because, <laughs> yeah, okay, if 
how you some sex do. Okay, so that was that. And then um I ended up wanting some Sonic. And I never talk about Sonic a lot on my channel. But y'all, I have been eating. I ain't gonna lie. I haven't been in the gym. I have been eating. It's taking me longer than normal to get up into the new year, new me type of move. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, not new year, new me, because I've definitely been there spiritually. Um, doing my Bible study. I am feeling well. I'm more energetic. I feel like my throat chakra has been bust wide open. Whatever um, shit was going on with me, I feel like that has cleared. And I do feel like it's an open path to my dreams my new dreams now you know what i'm saying so i'm i'm really excited about that but i ain't trying to like talk out there in the beginning like i always do anyway i'm gonna make my list for today i'm drinking my coffee i got my morning coffee and i only got a little tinkle left in the um thing and i'm not gonna buy any more for a while i'm not gonna buy any more for a while y'all because I feel like I'm going to let my coffee take the place of my detox tea. And I need to get my butt back to drinking my detox tea and get back used to drinking my detox tea in the morning. And when you drink it so much sweet stuff, the detox tea is just not what you want. You don't want to drink no water. You don't want to drink no detox tea because you want sweet stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, I have been on my ginger ale. So, it makes you not want no water and all that. And I got to get that together. And then a lot of y'all have been asking the question like, what happened to dry January? Girl, go watch the vlogs. The vlogs, I have a whole playlist with all the vlogs from 2024. So the vlogs from this year will all be in the same playlist. So you guys can just watch them one through whatever, okay? So all the vlogs from the beginning of this year are right there. And it explains, like, a lot of the questions that y'all been asking is answered in the vlogs, if that makes sense. But let's make this list for today, okay? Okay. I think y'all leaning a little bit. All right, so today is Saturday, um, and I got to do everything that I was supposed to do on Friday. But I do know for sure I got a meeting at 1 p.m. with um, a digital creative team. Oh, excuse me, because Pocketbook University has to be picked back up. Um, the ebooks coming, the courses coming. I still have things on the site. The um, everything just gonna be updated, and I feel like because it's 2024, y'all can answer this down below if you want me to. I should do a updated webinar for 2024 of the pink print of just how to start a YouTube and how to grow on YouTube in 2024, and I feel like that'll be something really good to do in January um to get you guys motivated and get y'all started on your channels and kind of just give you not the blueprint the pink print <laughs> it kind of just give you the pink print to starting to growing and to just being consistent like those are my top three things okay so um i got a, a meeting at 1 p.m and i'm excited about that because this team is actually local and so the other girl that i was working with she was in atlanta and do y'all know this bitch stole my money so one, I was supposed to, I told y'all about this last year, but I was supposed to launch a planner that I've been working on for months. Like the planner was so detailed. I was supposed to launch this planner um, for my birthday in October. The planner was supposed to launch on 10, 10, 23. Do you hear me? So come the day before, she was like, she gonna have a planner. She ain't heavy. She ain't had a planner. I had been paying this girl like over $500 a week, okay? To be a virtual freaking assistant. You understand me? So she really didn't have a lot to do. And I feel like that was way too much. I would never do that again. Uh, I'm going to pay people accordingly. And I was being generous because this hoe was homeless, everything. And I cared about her. And... So, I really wanted, I just be treating people the way I would want somebody to treat me. And I realized, like, you have to treat people accordingly. Because everybody don't have that. That shit is not embedded in everybody. And that shit, they did shit but get me fucked up and get me my money lost. One year, I was out $10,000. Y'all know I was supposed to do my party. It was this girl's fault because of that as well. 
I'm just like everything just got fucked up. I refunded everybody when it came to my party, of course, because the people who bought the VIPs and stuff like that, everybody got their money back. Never no issues with giving people their money. It's never no problem. I'm I'm not the type to owe anybody shit besides goddamn the government. Okay. I'm not the type to owe a person anything. But this girl is the second girl that I'ma worked with who I feel like didn't deliver. The first girl y'all know was in 2017 when I launched my business. I feel like I need to do a whole truthfully about this because I'll sit up here and take up the whole vlog. The first thing, girl, was when I launched my business in 2017. Love Lay Lust Collection launched in August of 2017, right? That was the first time digitally that I had made like $30,000 in a month. Okay, I, in 2017, I made like $30,000 in a month. I launched my hair company. I was selling the plug. I still got my same hair vendors since 2017, plus some more. I got better hair vendors, right? And so I started selling the plug. Everybody named mama was buying the plug from me. A lot of these people around here use my hair vendors. It's still to this day, and they make it a whole lot of money. And not only did I provide like the hair plug for them i also did a webinar with them as well and showed them like how to start the business how to legitify their business what and a lot of people have the same questions when it comes to starting a hair business you know how many bundles do i order what lengths do we need to be what patterns what textures all of this what is the average price for ordering like these bundles and we talk about the grades of hair the quality of hair um and etc etc okay right so I did all that and I was working with this one girl and I think she just started going through life shit for real and I paid her retainer for the beginning of the year in 2018 and the whole disappeared. Disappeared after I paid my retainer after I signed my contract. Honestly and truthfully if I wanted to I could sue every fucking body right. I could sue every fucking body because you just don't do that to people but this is the thing about black businesses they just be feeling like they can do what they want like i know life happens we got to understand that life happens but business business that shit fucked me up for a couple of fucking years i didn't even revamp my hair business the way that i should have i ended up starting clothing businesses and stuff in 2018 y'all can go watch the vlogs they still there still succeeded still got my house still got my cars still was making money and then Kind of was going up and down during that year, but then in 2019, I got into multi-level marketing. And I've been a person who always loved multi-level marketing. Like, back in the day, in 2014 and 15, I was in what's called Paycation Travel. And if you guys know about that, please leave a comment down in the comments below. But Paycation Travel was basically where you get paid to book people's um, travel plans you and you get a percentage of them and then you can offer like discounts if you had like a discount for jamaica for um dominican republic for mexico or whatever you can all book these people for a different a price and you know you get paid a percentage and it was also a multi-level marketing company so whoever you bring on your team you get rank and you get a percentage of what they make the same as tlc so when I got into TLC, I did not want to be a leader at all. This is why I said this needs to be uh truthfully. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. And if y'all want that whole thing, just leave me a comment down below. But anyways, this hoe ran off. It owes me a planner. She owes me a updated um a updated uh media kit. She owes me updated um, banner. And then, because a lot of my packages came with intro, outro, um, banner, it was included. It was a way, another way for her to make money. So, in the package, my price is my price because, of course, you paying for your intro, outro banner from her. So, I had to pay her, right, so she can make your things. And I got a couple people in my email right now who I got to get to today. Let me write that down email customers who I got to get to today because I took care of a couple people um I sent them to somebody else and of course I had already paid for it. I either told them I'll give you your money back for that portion or I can um send you to um, the girl who makes my stuff 
and I had I just paid for it for them because they already done paid for my service. We already had our one on one. You forget what I'm saying. So, anyways, um, the bitch put me in a bind, Nate. Not a bind like stress wise, but it's just like I get comfortable with people. I love my work to be cohesive. I don't do anything and just put it out there like everything is thought out everything is precise i like everything to look clean i like it to be professional i like it to be the way that i like it right and when i finally open up myself to trust somebody when it comes to my work it's just like it, it, it uh, it's just a thing but i understand now that business is business and you need to start vetting these bitches a little better because that right there takes me from business owner lily to i'm gonna beat your ass lily real quick like i promise you when i see this girl i'm going to smack her nothing in me no, nothing y'all can say can say that i'm not gonna smack her i'm gonna smack her i put that on me i'm gonna smack her so that's just it is what it is like it was a lot of stuff it's a, ugh, i got so much anyways so we supposed to be making this list i gotta update the planners that i do have which is the planner the content planner that's just a plain little planner this planner that i was making was a whole 2024 planner it was going to have everything for like your meditation your prayer list um financial goals it was going to have all kind of spiritual things in there as well as being able to plan your day-to-day -day life and it was going to be an electronic planner but you will also be able to print it out as well so yeah uh that was that so anyways um i need to go over the stuff that i already do have and get that ball back rolling because we get to the bag all 2024 like there's nothing stopping us but us so we get to the bag all 2024 you feel me so anyways um i just realized it's a commercial um anyways i'm gonna have to make this list off camera now because this thing got me distracted and i went on and on and went on a damn rant again i guess the vlogs at the beginning of 2024 is all about ranting honey i'm gonna clean up <laughs> and i'm going to i might show y'all a little bit but it ain't really gonna be like a clean with me vlog and then we'll go from there okay all right i love y'all thank y'all for listening okay thank you for letting me get that out i feel like i've been holding that in for a long time bitch had to release some shit like for real like for real like people is not gonna keep playing on my top and that's why i said what i said at the beginning of my other vlog find you some safe to do because because playing with me is not safe it probably had been safe for the last two, two, three years. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was trying to, I was trying to take another route. But even then, you still needed to find something safe to do. I don't give a fuck how old I get. I could be goddamn sixty. I would still smack a bitch. That's on me. You understand me? Like no, like what the fuck? And then I think people be getting it twisted between internet and real life, like. The shit that I put on the internet, this is my real fucking life. Like, I'm probably one of the most realistic vloggers that y'all motherfucking see out here. For real. Like, nothing's fake. I'm not flogging. I'm not doing shit for motherfucking attention. I ain't trying to live beyond my motherfucking means because I don't like being fucking broke. I don't like... I come from having nothing. So, the thought of having to go back to that scares the fuck out of me bitch it's a whole trauma experience between me and my success do you get what i'm saying it's fucking traumatic tell them robbie i'm fucking hollering <sighs> Still got love for your mommy. I know you wanna.
somebody Even if you gotta leave somebody Yes, I'm girl, yes, I'm girl Most of the things I don't wanna say I won't be around while you chase You know what I mean You know what I'm saying Don't try to come back when you fight Okay, y'all, so after breaking my back while um mopping that damn floor i'm finally in here about to um i'm gonna attempt i don't even know if this my bad damn i'm about to oh flash y'all i don't even know if this washing machine is big enough for my comforter that i got from low which is the same place that my mattress is from but baby we finna see because i don't feel like going to I could be his ass. I don't feel like going to the laundromat and I definitely don't feel like taking it to the dry cleaner. So what I'm about to do, you watch we're gonna wash it in some hot water. <laughs> okay. We're gonna wash it in some hot water. This the comforter. Y'all the shit is beige. The shit is beige. But I read the tag. It said, oh, wait. Girl, the tag, I think it said machine wash cold. Oh. It's right here. Girl, yes. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Oh. Machine wash cold water. Okay. <laughs> and then it says like tumble dry. No. But we couldn't see if it works. I feel like it should work because it's not too thick to me. It's like the size of a uh, extra large load. You just got to get it in here right. But I'm pretty sure y'all looking at me like this. You should have just took that on to the laundromat. But it's in here. It's in here now. It's in her! <laughs> okay. I'll pull out some detergent over this. Oh. Over this. I'm gonna put some fabric softener in here. And I'm gonna put some of these Downy Calm Infusion things. These are my favorite. I love these in my home. These are my favorite ones. For real. And then, fabric softener. The fabric softener I use is this one. And I need to clean this washing machine. Do y'all know we're supposed to clean these damn washing machines? Now, I don't do it the way we supposed to. But, I learned that about two years ago. When I had my, um, my Samsung washing machine. And then these are the two wigs I got to ship off. But today is Saturday and the post office closed at 12. So I'll ship them off later. But right now I'm going to go finish cleaning up my bathroom, making up my bed. It's 12, 11. And like I said, I got a meeting at 1 o'clock. So we're going to prepare. Okay. I have to know, because I have these animals, this silly thing collect so much dirt so fast like i feel like i be having to clean this so freaking much when i say it collects so much dust so fast and then i have to that's why i be having to take my curtains down and wash my curtains like you would think i'm smoking here is it just my house or do y'all do that too? Oh, you would think I smoke in here. But I do know y'all told me too because I, I burn candles all the time. I burn candles so much. And don't be looking at my underarms because I ain't really got my black shit. Who I might do that today. I might do that today. And no, I'm going to Honey Bunny. I'm not going to um, my girl Jasmine today because 
I don't feel like spending a hundred dollars. I just need this shit up off me. <sighs> and I don't need a um vajayshul right now. <sighs> Goodness. Okay. Now that I got that down, I can go in and I get a paper towel. And um, they got a. I think they got a cleaner for this. I need to get it. I saw this girl, like this lady on TikTok, or was it Instagram Reels or something like that? But it's like what I'm gonna do with the paper towel and the cleaning thing. It's like a cloth thing. I need to get that. I need to get that because that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clean that, clean the top of my bed and the top of my mirrors. And yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Still got love for your mommy. I know you wanna be somebody, even if you gotta leave somebody. It's all good, it's all good. Most of the things that you got on the side. I'm gonna show y'all what's one of my favorite songs and what's one of my favorite albums. And it's the K Michelle mixtape, The Still No Fucks Given. This was my. Fucking album. Do you understand me? Apply now at Purdue Global. Edu. Nine years ago, girl. Checking with no girl. Girl. You don't girl. Okay. <laughs> this was my shit. Hold on. Let's put it on the TV. Which TV is this? Is that TV? Yeah. Okay. I love the money, yeah, the money loves me. Shout out Jeff Robinson. Yeah, I got cash everywhere. You know, so I feel like, um, and that way I can, you know, do the soft launches and stuff like that and get my audience ready for what's coming. And I'm, we're going to kind of look through and do an audit. It's just kind of with a proposal on what that would look like for each of them. Okay. If we supported you in the way that you're talking about. Okay, perfect. And maybe not want to call on Tuesday, depending on your schedule. Okay, perfect. That sounds amazing. Okay, y'all. Okay, so I just finished up with my call for the day that was actually really great um i'm excited about that and to see what they say and what they offer <laughs> lord i'm like I, i'm just putting it all in god's hands and trusting in the lord and just um let him guide me with this decision and um you know asking him to let me know if these are the people that i need to be working in because i feel like before I wasn't like coming to God with like, is this the right decision to make? Even though everything happens for a reason. Like even with working with the people I was working with in the past, the things worked out until they didn't work out. Right. And so you just have to use discernment and be able to say, okay, that was that. What am I going to learn for that? And then you kind of move on to the next thing. So that's that. Um, I'm still Y'all, my nose is like a freaking 
I have a real keen sense of smell. If you've ever been around me, I have a rare, real, real keen sense of smell. Like, if you ain't had a bath in three days, I can smell the undernotes of your ass. Okay? And you ain't even got to be standing next to me. I have a real keen sense of smell. So, for me, I'm going to have to go through and mop this whole floor again. New mop water. Mop this whole floor because of this little mother right here and I gotta get this rug out of here but I'm almost done my um comforter is in the on the washing machine I got my clean white sheets on my bed I've been listening to my music and now I just want to put on a wig so I can feel kind of cute it's one o'clock y'all it's 110 um and I don't want to feel like this right now so I kind of want to throw on a wig and stuff and then like go get my wax and stuff and like I can go out, look for a carpet, all that good stuff. I got to get something to eat. So, I want to be at the house probably by 3 o'clock, I would say. Two something would be would be cool. Two would be nice, but I'm going to give myself some, some time. And I'm going to say 3 o'clock. So, excuse me. Let's get at it. Okay, y'all. So, it's like 2.15 right now. I got a wax appointment at... 305 um on a whole nother side of town so i'm gonna throw on this wig i had already like curled the back but i had this wig probably about uh four or five years now so i know i'm gonna have to chop off like a bunch of this lace in the front and i'm gonna put it on with some guys to be because i don't have time and then i'm gonna throw on um i'm just gonna throw on something to run my errands in y'all have seen this shirt before it's from pretty little thing and because i need something easy uh i'm gonna just throw this on and then i got on a bra up under here this time <laughs> when i had wore this shirt the last time i didn't have on no bra up under it but i'm gonna wear a bra up under it this time because i'm gonna go get a wax and stuff and i'm gonna get my underarms waxed so i want to just be able to have easy access and then i'm gonna put on my favorite cow print pants which are from molly green and um ooh, yeah this should be a little comfy and running type outfit let me step back so y'all can see like what she's working with now i'm gonna just throw on some socks and probably like my slides so it's gonna be like this okay um fragrance I'm trying not to fragrance again. So today I'm going to throw on. Hold on. Let me show y'all. So because I want to see if I can um, like the smell of this Dior. The Jador Lore. I'm going to put this on like this. Okay. And all the like, you know, important areas. Here. And I'm going to spray it down here. Oh, the back of my knee. Okay. So, I put that on. So, I'm actually going to mix it. And the scent, because I want to make this, like, affordable for everybody. The scent that I'm going to mix it with is a scent. Let me see. Yes. I'm going to mix it with the Versace Crystal Noir. So, I'm going to layer it anyway. So, uh... I'm going to do this like this. Okay. And then we'll see what kind of compliments we get with that. So we did the, the Jador Lore with the Versace Crystal Noir. Okay. And the Versace Crystal Noir is usually like my bedtime scent. I normally wear that when I'm going to bed. Not saying that it's not a scent that you can wear out because it is a sexy, seductive scent, which is why I like to wear it in the bed. <laughs> okay. Um, but like when you go to lay down and whoever, if you, even if you're laying down by yourself, but if you're definitely laying down with somebody, they be like, girl, I'm finna eat you up. Period. Okay. So I don't have a lot of time. Um when it comes to this wig however i cannot i was gonna put on some concealer and like a little makeup or something 
I might throw on some concealer if I have time, but who knows, girl. So for now, I'm just going to take this lace, blend it in. Okay. And then I'm going to show y'all what I mean. This wig has, you see all that lace right there? That's a lot of lace. So um, let me try it on. This is a wig that I made. That's why it doesn't last so long. I hand sewed this about five years ago. And I I think I remade it once. Love how you like the way. Damn it. Okay. So I might need to use some real lace glue to get this to melt. Bless me. Okay. Huh. I need to uh get the mirror out so I can see up close. Okay, yeah, girl, because that's a whole lot of lace. That's a whole lot of lace. But what I'm gonna do is I'ma go ahead and apply this with some real lace glue because we don't got time to play. Okay. And I want to restyle this. But when I say this is going to be the fastest install, it's going to be a quick install. And quick <laughs> sometimes don't do what you want it to do. But, girl, I want some hair on. And I want this hair on. I already got my curlers plugged up. And then whatever part of this lace is not like melted down or laid down, that's the part that I'm going to cut off. You feel me? But first, I got to get it on my head. So once I get it on there, we'll see where we go. Okay, I'm going to get it on my head. Get them dressed from the waist down and get my wax. So let's get it. Okay, babies. So I'm done with my wax now. Y'all, the girl who did my wax, the conversation we had was just top tier. Um, first of all, her name is Keisha. I was definitely expecting to see a black woman, but she was, I think, Hispanic and white, and she was so cool, girl. Um it was at the Honey Bunny in Hickson. And when I say the conversation was top tier. And it, she literally walked me through it. As far as like I ain't feel no pain. Now I'm outside of Easy Bistro downtown Chattanooga. And I'm about to get ready to go um, get a drink and eat some food with Raven and Shannon. Um, I don't have a jacket. Which is crazy. Because... I wasn't planning on doing all this. I was just planning on running to get the damn wax and coming back home. But I got on the phone with Raven and now we doing more. So, um, she said she was walking up. So, I'm about to get out of the car. Lock my doors and then I'm going to pay the park. Hold on. But... Right there. I don't see her. And if y'all know, if y'all not new here and you true here, then you know I've been at the bistro a couple times. Um, but just not on some like chill shit. I always wait for like a special occasion or something. So let me see. Oh, here got a park mobile app. And uh, this is 2655. Oh my gosh, it's cold. Let me get my ass in here. Okay. Let me let me get some some shit for y'all. Baby, my mind's blown. We forget you live in a different time zone. Think I know what this is, it's just a time's wrong. Yeah, I know what you did, but baby, I'm grown. And my love is patient and kind of shit. This is where we could build through different types of shit. You was really the realest, wouldn't be fighting you. I think your pride is just. Look at them, too. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Look, Raven came in saying I smell she good. She smells like good. Like, That's you smelling like that? No, I'm wrong yes. I just said. <laughs> okay, y'all. Yes. And what's crazy is I said, before I left the house, you can see. Before I left the house, I said, um, I'm going to try the new Dior, but I mixed it with the Versace Noir. Mm, now, what the heck is that one? The Versace Noir is like, I usually wear it as a night scent, like a bedtime scent, but that's like the softness. Yes. It smells so damn good. Like, she smells good. <laughs> First of all, oh, I'm loving this outfit. Thank you. Look, I was I FaceTime Shannon said I'm about to leave. And then my stock has got a hole. I said, now. Look, I said they make them like this. I man. said, I'm doing what I want. No, that's just what they, I like. That's what you know, that's what I love. Oh. <laughs> I said, I'm doing what I like. Yeah. I said, well, I'm wearing it. Because if you want it without the real, then you got to buy them more higher quality. Quality. Wild greens. No. They, the ones that be like online, they be. Hey. Hey. Good. Pretty good. I'm going to come back to the water. Still or sparkling? Uh, still. Yeah, with okay. lemon, please. I can bring lemon. Okay, thank you. Okay, y'all, let me get to talking and then I'll get y'all into the little montage or the ambiance, okay? Because it's gonna be a vibe. It is. <laughs> I'm not vlogging either, y'all. Oh, oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Which I wish I had my like. I, I ordered a French 75, which is like um, I can show it to you. What's in it? It got champagne. Like a smoky Yeah. A smoky? Oh, yeah. Not a smoky. Like it tastes like the grill. Like it's. Oh, is that what it's going to Talk about the mule. Yeah. I wanted a rum base. What about the parking garage? Yes, you told me about you being in a parking garage. Okay, uh, Raven got me gonna try these oysters. You see, it's only four here because one, they don't even eat raw. I don't either. Okay, y'all. Um, you know, you gonna pass in there? Yep. You see what they are? Everybody get their. Um, Can you get this? Uh, no, he isn't gonna. No, you don't. Don't do that. Yeah. You know. I'm trying different type of oysters today. Three weeks ago. Yeah. Oh, and then they come with a lemon, so you put the lemon on. Yeah, you can squeeze. Yeah. One, two, three. You didn't trust yourself. You don't trust yourself. Oh, well. Oh, that's kind of good. Not at all. That is really good. That tastes like luxury. Oh, that is good. That was, I chewed it. Me too. I'm chewing it. That was good. Wait. Maybe the place we was at ain't oh, real. Yeah. Like what? Let me try that one. Let me see. No, you can have this one. This is a sweet one. This is a sweet one. Yeah, what is it? I don't know. Now this looks like an animal. I saw this. I like what this that came from. It's the one she said was buttery. Um, it looks like a I don't know about that one. Yeah. That was the other one. Now I won't 
13. I was like, what is 13, 13? <laughs> and then I looked it up and it, it was different meanings. It started off with twin flames. Okay, mm. so the first one usually be the one that resonate the more, the most. Cause every time you look it up, you will get a different little thing yeah. depending on well, what you're going through. Yeah. I skipped that one and went to what does the spiritual spiritual side <laughs> thirteen. Now I didn't even do twin flame because. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> when I say y'all, hold on. My, my, um, we finna go to Gilman's. I kept saying Gilligan's Island. Girl, this shit is called Gilman's. It's called What's she called? It? Gilligan's? Gilligan's Island. I said Gilligan's Island. No. Oh my God. That French 75 got me lit. You hear me? <laughs> Frenchy 75. Frenchy 75. Okay, we going to another restaurant. So I'm excited. Take one of her little calamari. Go ahead. She's my go-head. It's the peppers and fried and jalapenos for me. Now, which part is the calamari? This is mm -hmm. this like right here. This. This. This look like a naked piece of calamari. Now, see, you see that red stuff dripping? That's an octopus. No, this is a pepper. Oh. <laughs>
we could go 30 days without no food, no water. We can go 30 days. But not in the glitter in the cup. And your body don't fight against you. Baby, when they, when I, when I, did you see the easy? I did, I tried. That's when I started. It looked like dinosaur bones out there. And it was humans. They had, they had ate them by the bones. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Baby. Everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice. Poetic justice. Shannon, don't eat that whole damn bowl. Shannon, don't eat the whole damn bowl. You was if we didn't ask. No, I wouldn't. Shannon, don't eat the whole damn bowl. 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 This is exactly why you can't go drinking with your fucking trainer. Because this if you ever thought about real. becoming friends with your trainer, abort fucking mission. I don't care don't how cool go they to is. Restaurant. You hear me? This? Your trainer could be cool as hell. They could be like, girl, I love you. Keep them as a trainer. I'm fine with the drinking, but this is insane. No, I'm serious, Shannon. I do not want to see you it. That is different. That is different. That looks like sweet. That is just. Awesome. It, this was was this it was amazing. It was. I love you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. Yeah. Oh, no. And we have it's a a nine time. seventeen at night. We've been out here since four o'clock. <laughs> the drink in my the my drinks. knees. I feel like I'm every bit of thirty three. About to be thirty four. Stop my knees, playing. My Ray. knees like for real. I'm for real. <sighs> okay. Can't sit down too long. Let me know when y'all get to the car. Okay. <laughs> Okay, y'all. I'm finna get ready to go. Um, I think I'm finna meet up with B, actually. My camera is dead, but I'm finna meet up with B, and we finna do something. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end this vlog here. It's been a good night. I done had a good time. I'm gonna show y'all three spots in Chattanooga that you can come to, and you can get a drink oh shit fuck okay oh it's cold alright I might come back and I might let y'all know when I get home